week one was a blur. It was a mixture of feeling incredibly overwhelmed and feeling incredibly intrigued at what I might find inside this destitute structure. I wasn't sure where to start, but I knew I just needed to get started. So I did. Alright guys, day one is in the books and only had a couple hours to spare because I got on my brother's football game, but we got a lot done. This ultimately led to a lot of redundancy. I had a lot of garbage and not a lot of space to put it. So I moved some things here, stacked some things there, and eventually came to realize it was still in my way. When I bored with that, I toiled with other little projects. Picking up nails was an inefficient yet meditative use of time. So I did some of that too. Later in the week, I was able to round up a ragtag team to help out with some of the work. What's your name, young man? Ivan. Let me catch my breath. Ivan out of breath. How about you? What are you doing? How are you? You guys like destroying things? Yeah. Why don't you guys kick that wall over for me? You know, I hear this pink stuff makes great bedding. Just lay down in it. They spent their time destroying things while I frantically took down the salvageable and valuable items before they got ruined. Dad's an incredible asset to have on the team because he used to have his own business doing demolition, asbestos okay. removal, so he knows the process for taking these things down. He made quick work of the garage area. Walls, roofs, seats. Nothing was safe. Dad and little brothers come over and they are a wrecking crew. Pretty much took out all these walls as well as the roof and ceiling here in the garage area. It's cool now with the wall back knocked out. You can see uh, the back part of my property here. It's actually got a hill that slopes up to a canal bank up there, but my property goes up to those rocks back there. And while the week may have passed by awkwardly, there were several valuable lessons learned along the way. Lesson one. Never turn your back on the newbies when they are equipped with sledgehammers and a load-bearing wall. As my dad and I had our backs turned, you can see my brothers working away in the scope footage. But watch where the top of the wall starts, and a few beams later, ends. I think it's safe to say that was a close call. Lesson two. Two pieces of PPE, or personal protective equipment, are not always better than one. So you're probably wondering why I've got the glasses on my head and not on my eyes. Well, because unfortunately these two pieces of safety equipment don't work well together. This one pushes my breath up into my glasses, fogs it up. And I think that's more unsafe than maybe a nail going in my eye. I don't know. Just can't win. Fuck you, Brock. Lesson three. The cheapest tools are sometimes the most effective. Best investment I've made. Five dollars from Craigslist. Save the beast. Made in America. And finally, lesson four. All it takes to move mountains is a few simple tools and some ambition. wasn't a pretty start, but hot damn, it's going to be a beautiful ending. That is assuming this will ever get done. Be sure to catch all of the destruction by subscribing to my YouTube channel down below. If you have any questions or advice, then you can also reach out via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or my website. Just look for Ivan the Intrepid. And if you want to see what this place looked like before I started, you can click the intro video in the top right corner.
Thanks for following, guys.